We're back here once again in the Union Colony Civic Center lobby because there's a lot of good shows coming through town and a lot of holiday events coming up. And with us to talk a little bit about those and some holiday gift-giving opportunities is the uh, Manager of Cultural Affairs, Jason Evenson. Thanks so much for joining us again. Thanks for having me. Now, Union Colony Civic Center, some shows coming up. Let's go what you guys have on tap first. Yeah, you bet. So coming up in November, we start off the month with a family show uh, for the whole family. Uh, Guava Tree on November 4th, and then we move straight into John Tesh on November 5th, and then we move to a dance performance right after that, the, the silhouettes that were on America's Got Talent, and I think uh, came in pretty high in the rankings on that one. Uh, moving straight into perennial magic favorite Lance Burton, who's coming out of Las Vegas, one of uh, a master magician and longtime performer there. So kind of a wide variety of stuff. And then late, later on in December, we're going to wrap up uh, the winter semester with uh, a dance performance from one of our community partners. Colorado Dance Collective is going to perform uh, a variety of different dance numbers for us called Hot Chocolate. Fantastic. This seems like a very diverse group of shows. You want to get tickets, you go to ucstars.com for all the details and ticket information. And we did mention some of the holidays because uh, the holidays are a big thing here at the uh, Union Colony Civic Center. So what kind of uh, holiday festivities are in line for everybody? You bet. We're glad to be bringing back the Festival of Trees this year right here to the Civic Center. So lots and lots of decorated trees, entertainment, activities for the kids. Um, that'll be the Saturday after Thanksgiving all the way to the first Saturday in December, which wraps up with the Greeley Philharmonic's Pops concert. I feel like this is going to be a good year because with last year not being able to have the festival trees, I think there's people with a lot of Christmas decorations just like ready to explode. So, <laughs> Exactly, yeah. Major fundraiser for both us and the Greeley Philharmonic Orchestra, so you're giving back to the community and getting into the festive spirit right away. Mm -hmm. And funny you mentioned the festive spirit, gift giving a big thing with a lot of holidays coming up. And if somebody wanted to do something like give tickets to a show or something like that for the Union Colony Civic Center, what kind of things or what kind of options do they have as far as gifts go? Sure, you bet. Well, we don't do gift cards, but we do um, allow giving of hard gifts or hard tickets, and as well as if you work with a ticket clerk or go online, you can do the billing to one address and then do um, the shipping address as a separate address, and so you can actually just have them emailed directly to your gift recipient. That's fantastic. So if you want to give one of those holiday shows to, to mom or something like that, you can just give it and she can get tickets in her mailbox, right? Exactly. There's also <laughs> another great support opportunity from the Civic Center. You could join or join for a family member, the Union Colony Civic Center Backstage Stars. And with that, there's not only tickets, but there's also drink opportunities, signed show posters, um, maybe even post-pandemic, the opportunity to meet a star or two at some of the higher levels. Excellent. Again, you see stars for details about that. And speaking of supporting the Union Colony Civic, what kind of options are there for people to do that and supporting just performing arts in general in Greeley? Yeah, you bet. So attending the Festival of Trees is a great way. Um, joining the Backstage Stars, buying tickets um, to all the different shows, and then just supporting your local artists. You know, one of the things that uh, we like to say in our industry is the local artist crafts are not sitting on a container ship somewhere out in the middle of the ocean. So we're glad to have them here, so support them. Excellent, excellent. And uh, we, we kind of glossed over some of the holiday performance, but you guys have a whole calendar full of events over the November and December. Uh, what are a few of the highlights that other people have to look forward to? You bet. So the Civic Center isn't the only people that are putting on performances. We've got lots of local performers that are putting things on. We've got the perennial favorite of the Nutcracker first week in December. Lots of tickets available for that. We've also got uh, the Greeley Philharmonic Orchestra, which I think I mentioned already. And lots of other community groups are putting them on, and we advertise all of those on our website. So, And uh, mentioning the Festival of Trees, we mentioned that earlier too, so I want to go back to that. That event, what does it entail for people? Because I know a lot of people get confused if they need to buy tickets, what days can they go? Can we run through just a few of the small details about that that they can look forward to? Yeah, sure. So there are both general admission hours where you can tour the trees. There's a little bit of entertainment that will be happening in the theater. Um, you can go to their website to see exactly what those entertainment acts are and what the hours are for those. And then there are four special events that are associated with that as well. The um, Kicking off that first weekend is Whoville Holiday. That's a much higher price than just the general admission. And those tickets always sell out. Then in the middle, we will have a brand new event called Watercolor and Wine, um, driven towards more the 
the parent age end of the <laughs> spectrum. And then uh, to wrap it up that final weekend, we will have Teddy Bear Bash, which is aimed at the real small kind of toddler age um, where the kids pay a little bit higher fee to come in with their parents and they get a teddy bear and they have some snacks and that sort of thing. So everything's available online um, and you can check out all the details there. Fantastic. We appreciate your time and uh, good luck with a very busy holiday season. Glad to be back at it. <laughs> Union Colony Civic Center, you can stay tuned to their Facebook page for details. You go to ucstars.com. Lots of events happening, lots of tickets, and uh, lots of entertainment to be had for the holiday season. Again, ucstars.com for all the details.